What's going on, good people? This is your boy B Harvest back again with another lock video. Stay tuned. Peace. What's going on, people? Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, look, if this is your first time here, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Listen, we're just talking about locks over here. I talk about other things like leadership development, character development. I got my podcast, The Incaridian Team. We just do things like that. You know, it's a lifestyle type of, <laughs> type of channel, right? So let's get into this thing. Winner tips for locks. Now, I'm a baby. Y'all can tell it. Y'all can tell I'm a baby in the game, right? But these are some things and some tips and tricks that I've learned so far. I've been locked for almost a year now, a year now, <laughs> right now is a year and check it out. These are some tips that I learned that I want to share with y'all. Number one, water. You got to drink water, <laughs> right? It's the lady on here. She got gray hair. I think she just recently cut her locks off, but she got gray hair. She's an older lady and she tell you all the time, water. Make sure you drink water for Natty Dreads, right? Drink water. It makes a ton of difference. How much water? That's a question that I get all the time. How much water should I drink? I think you should drink at least a gallon of water a day. If you got any, like, bottles, like, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Here it is, right? This regular bottle of water. Now, some some of you, <laughs> some of you have, uh, don't like drinking water. You drink it. <sighs> People can't drink that much. Listen, drink like at least a gallon. A gallon would be about eight of these. Eight, drink eight to ten of these. If you got a big jug in the ounces, I think it's 128 ounces. Make sure you're drinking some water. It's easy not to drink water in the wintertime because... You're not as uh, hot, so you don't feel as though you're as dehydrated. But go ahead and drink the water anyway, right? It's going to make you feel better. It's going to make your skin feel better. It's going to make your locks feel a lot better. Your scalp is going to feel a lot better. Go ahead, trust me on this one. Drink the water. All right, point number two. Point number two. Don't get retwisted, right? Listen, I, I fight the urge. I got to fight the urge every day. I wake up. Different parts of the day, sometimes it'd be like laying down, all types of crazy. And then other times it'd be, you know, like I got electrocuted and stuff, right? Sometimes, you know, you just like, listen, I want to sit down. I want to get whoever I got. Maybe I do it myself. And just go ahead and twist it up so it can be neat and everything like that. But I'm trying to tell you, resist the urge. In the wintertime, your skin, your body, plus you drinking all this water, your, your body going to get dry, right? The wind is going to hit your head. It's going to create all types of dandruff, all types of dryness and, and eczema and all types of stuff. Don't get it retwisted. Let this protective hair, you know, as it afros up and that new growth come in, I think that it's going to protect your hair. I don't know. I'm no, I'm no lockologist. I'm no lockologist. I don't know the exact science behind it, but it makes sense to me that the hair is going to protect your scalp. And if you get it retwisted, it's going to create those parts. The drying is going to get in there. You're going to be looking, you're going to try to look fresh for like maybe a, a day or two, a week or two. And then it's just going to mess you all up. I think that you should wait. I think that you honestly should wait until winter is over. Wait till like March or something and go ahead and get right. it retwisted then. If you want. And my third... My third and final tip is this. You got to accept yourself. I'm going to make my next video. I'm going to make this about uh, probably like my one year lock anniversary. They got something like that going on. But the first thing I want to say to y'all, the last thing I want to say to y'all, I should say, is that you got to accept yourself. Right? I know too many people. I know a couple people who, you know, they wear wigs or something like that. <laughs> they They... They do a whole bunch of stuff and mess up, like, I feel their hair because they don't want to accept the way it look. And the truth is, it's you. It's you, right? You might be in that ugly stage. 
If you want to call it an ugly stage, I would stop calling it an ugly stage altogether. I would call it an acceptance stage, right? Because you got to accept yourself, right? This is you. This is your hair. You're beautiful. You're handsome. You know, you look great. You look beautiful. You look great, right? <laughs> you, look, you look amazing just the way you are. Don't try to overdo it to try to fit to some type of uh, unrealistic beauty standard that you really don't have to do. Just accept yourself this winter, all right? So we're going, we got the three things. We're going to drink more water. You're going to hold off on the retwist, right? Because you got to think about the health of your hair, right? And then number three, you're going to accept yourself. You're just going to accept yourself, okay? All right, guys, that's all I got. Listen, if you like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and like this thing. I said as well, like this channel, I talk about leadership building, character building. I'm going to get into talking about locks. Maybe might talk about fitness, right? It's a whole bunch of different blog, vlog, vlog things. So go ahead and just subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.